This team, actor Hell Holbrook in the movie Capricorn One from 1978, really lays it out as to how NASA works. And here is the segment from that film. I remember when Glenn made his first orbit in Mercury. They put up television sets in Grand Central Station and tens of thousands of people missed their trains to watch. You know, when Apollo 17 landed on the moon, people were calling up the networks and bitching because reruns of I Love Lucy were canceled. Reruns, for Christ's sake. I can understand if it was a new Lucy show. I mean, what the hell is a walk on the moon? But reruns. Oh, jeez. And then suddenly everybody started talking about how much everything cost. Was it really worth 20 billion to go to another planet? What about cancer? What about the slums? How much does it cost? How much does any dream cost, for Christ's sake? Since when is there an accountant for ideas? You know who is at the launch today? Not the president, the vice president. The vice president and his plump wife. The president was busy. <laughs> He's not busy. He's just a little bit scared. He sat there two months ago and put his feet up on Woodrow Wilson's desk. And he said, Jim, make it good. Congress is on my back. They're looking for a reason to cancel the program. We can't afford another screw-up. Make it good. You have my every good wish. His every good wish. I got his sanctimonious vice president. That's what I got. And so there we are. After all those hopes and all that dreaming, he sits there with those flags behind his chair and tells me we can't afford a screw-up. And guess what? We had a screw-up. A first-class, bona fide, made-in-America screw-up. The good people from Con Amalgamate delivered a life support system cheap enough so they could make a profit on the deal. Works out fine for everybody. Con Amalgamate makes money. We have our life support system. Everything's peachy. Except they made a little bit too much profit. We found out two months ago it won't work. You guys would all be dead in three weeks. It's as simple as that. So all I have to do is report that and scrub the mission. Congress has its excuse. The president still has his desk and we have no more program. What 16 years for actual drop in the bucket? All right. Well, there you have it. Esteemed actor, Hell Hobrook, a very dear man gives it to you as how NASA works behind the scenes. God bless the United States of America.